in the meantime, a uh, bit of a bit of a blast from the past. Uh, okay, I noticed something in my Steam library on my alt. Uh, you might remember uh, a game called Bomberman uh, Community Hub. I made a video on Bomberman a long time ago, and it's really the story of how I just caused like absolute chaos on the Steam market. So this is Bomberman. As you can see, is the laziest and chittiest asset flip of asset flips in existence, but it came with this hidden puzzle game where you would uh, rearrange these lovely pictures of Chinese women in bras and posing and stuff like that. And from that, you would get these bizarre, really, really dodgy, cheap items that people were using on the Steam market to, I believe they're trying to smuggle money out of China. I think that I think that's what they're being used for, although it's hard to know. They were moving money from one Steam account to another. That part's clear. I think it was to get around Chinese currency restrictions, although it's not clear. But basically, it was this weird asset flip game with these weird puzzle games that was being used for some form of money laundering. So... <laughs> Weird stuff, but you know, stuff like that happens on, it, it happens on, on Steam. It's a Steam thing. But the problem is, when I, when I made my video on it, someone, <laughs> someone figured out there was a way for third parties, people who don't have like developer access to the game to edit and add items to the game. And, uh, <laughs> some people in my Discord server got access to that and they started changing some items. Now, at first they were mostly funny. There was, there was one they made that was a picture of my abs called the Jesus item. Like that's, that's kind of funny, right? It was, you know, entertaining, but it didn't stay that way. Someone who had access to the dev controls, I, I don't know who, I don't know if it's someone on my Discord server or someone somewhere else, but somebody started changing them to less family friendly things. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to elaborate. Like, like some of it was gross, but still kind of funny in a gross way. Some of it was just not funny. It was just just messed up. But for about six hours, the Steam market was flooded with gore and porn and gore porn. I, it was not. It was not pretty. Uh, Steam eventually, eventually, uh, stepped in. Uh, somebody even wrote something about it, uh, discussions. Uh, here he is. This is a good story. Uh, we won't read all of this. We won't read all of this. Uh, yeah, after the Zeus feared, some idiots looked in, into the game's code, found Steam API that they use. After that, after they had the key, chaos ensued. Originally, items changed to memes and harmless, but like all good things, some explicit put gore on the cards. Oh, I won't read any more of that. But, you know, memories. That's a little bit of a... Uh, Little bit of history, the the day I destroyed the Steam market, basically, it wasn't it wasn't really me, but if I hadn't drawn attention to the game, no one would have found that code, and then all this screwed up stuff wouldn't have happened. <laughs> but that in in the world of you know Steam screw ups, uh, leaving your dev code publicly accessible and allowing people to do that is a pretty big screw 